Hey boys and girls, happy Friday and welcome to day five. So today you're going to be doing a really similar thing to what you've been doing all week. And I hope you're really getting into the routine of this because once you get that routine down, it's going to make things a lot smoother. So today you're going to complete your worksheets, do 20 minutes of reading, a 10 minute reading activity, 10 minute math activity, 30 minutes of Spanish, 30 minutes of Mandarin, and then get some fresh air and exercise. So your work for today, we have a writing assignment. My favorite animal is. So I want you to go through and finish out this sentence and then write another sentence explaining why or describing the animal. Like my favorite animal is puffins, period. I love puffins because they are an Arctic animal and they have very colorful beaks. Period. And that'd be the end of mine. And then I'm going to draw the most amazing picture of a puff in here. I might even label his parts like a beak, tail, fins. And I'd want to label my part as my picture as well. I can't wait to see what your favorite animal is. You also have a spring into CBC words activity. These are all our short A words, which is a review for us. So you have the letters at the bottom of the page. So you can cut them out and glue them. Or if you'd like, you could just write in the letters yourself. So we have pan, map, hat, and wag. Now I know this is a picture of a dog, but dog is d ah ah. So that wouldn't be that short a ah, a sound. So we're looking at his tail right here now. He's wagging his tail. He is so excited. He's so excited to be a part of your worksheet. So if you guys remember, we were using our arm to help us figure out what's our beginning, middle, and end sound. So let's actually sound out the first word together. Pan. We have pa, a, n, pan. So our initial sound, our first letter was the pa, pa, pa. What letter says pa? I know you all shout out me P. So we're going to put a P in this first box here. Pa, a, 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 here, and then n. Mm. Our last sound is an n, mm, which is N, and I'm going to put an N right here, so we pan. So you can choose to cut these out and glue them, or you could just write them in. It's up to you. And then for math, we have some bubble bonds. Just like on our last page, we have these on the bottom here where you can cut them out and glue them, or you can just go through and write in the numbers. Now, on each of the big bottles of bubbles, there's a number. It's so like right here, we have a 10. Now this is going to be our number that we want both of our bubbles to add up to. This is the main part of our bond. So we have 10. So we have to figure out 5 and how many more equal 10. How I want to solve this is I'm going to put up 10 fingers because that's what number is inside my bubble. And I know I already have 5 of them. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I want to see how many do I have left. I have five left. So I know that I need five more to complete my bond. So five plus five equals 10. And then I'm going to show you again on another one. So right here in our big bubble, we have a five. So our number, our first number we want to put up is that five. We already have four. So we're going to take away four of these. One, two, three, four. How many do we have left? One. So we know that four plus one equals five. And we're going to complete our bubble bonds. Okay. You also have a long known today color sort. So if the picture you see is from long ago, you're going to color it in red. If the picture you see is from today, you're going to color it in blue. Now when I'm looking at this picture here, I see they have feather headbands, they have this like belt kind of here and a dress. So that doesn't look like something I would see someone normally wear today. So I'm going to go with that from long ago, and I'm going to color this in red. And then this boy right here, I see he's got this cool haircut. He has a bowling ball, a t-shirt, and pants. So I'm going to say he's from today. So I'm going to color him in blue. Now normally I say make your people look like people, but for today you're going to color him all blue and them all red. And then you're going to go through that and do that for each of your other pictures. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you back on Monday.